Okay, so um, I want to talk to you guys about evaluating uh, hyperbolic trig functions and their inverses. If you notice on the uh, TI84 plus CE, um, I can evaluate trig functions like sine, cosine, and tangent um, right in there. I can also evaluate the reciprocals by simply saying 1 divided by sine of tangent or uh, 1 over sine and stuff like that. But the hyperbolic uh, trigonometric functions and their inverse functions, um, those are in the catalog menu only. So what you would do is you would hit second um, catalog, okay? And then um, let's do hyperbolic sign. Now that starts with the letter S, so automatically notice that my um, alpha uh, button, see this right here? See how that has the capital letter A? That means that my my calculator is in alpha mode. So if I click on the natural log button, see this S that's above it? When I click on that, that'll take me to the S, the S part of the catalog. And so I'm just gonna go till I get to um, sine H, which is the hyperbolic sine. So I, it'll take a second, I'm gonna scroll down. And there's the sine function, sine inverse, hyperbolic sine, and then hyperbolic inverse of sine. So from here, uh, let's practice using our um, calculate or our catalog menu. So if I hit plus, uh, it'll tell me what value of the uh, angle I want to plug in. And I notice I'm in radian mode, so I'm just going to evaluate the hyperbol sine hyperbolic of like pi divided by three, I guess. So we'll just do some crazy value um, divided by three. Oops, divided by three. Okay. And so what that does is that evaluates my uh, hyperbolic sine at pi over three, and there is the corresponding y value. Um, I can also graph hyperbolic sine. So let's do, um, yeah, let's do hyperbolic sine. So what I'm gonna do is hit second catalog, automatically in my alpha mode right here. Uh, so I'm gonna hit S, and I'm gonna scroll down until I get to sine hyperbolic. Oops, went a little too far. And I'm going to hit enter. And uh, we're going to use the variable x. And just hit graph. I may need to adjust the graph, but that's basically what um, hyperbolic sign looks like. Um, we did, we evaluated that at pi over 3. So let's do that again. Let's hit second pi uh, divided by 3. And so we can get a feel for where it is. Yeah, it's a uh, 1.249. Uh, is the value of that. And so that's how you would do hyperbolic sine. You know, just for fun, uh, let's graph the inverse of that, which should um, reflect over the uh, diagonal. So let me, let me graph, well, let's do it down here. Let's graph the diagonal here, um, because remember that the inverse function as it reflects over the diagonal, right? So there should be a mirror image. So if I'm gonna do second catalog um, I'm actually going to do T and come, come up from the bottom. It might be quicker. No, what was I thinking? There's a lot of S's. All right, so here's the inverse function of hyperbolic sine of X. And so here's where I was trying to show you guys is that when I graph this, see how that mirrors over the diagonal, right? So that's how I know it's the um, inverse of hyperbolic sine. And so there you have it. That's how you access all of the hyperbolics. Um, if you go to second catalog and you want hyperbolic cosine, you go to C, um, just scroll down till you get cosine H. There it is. Those are the hyperbolics and the uh, corresponding inverse for uh, sine, uh, cosine, sorry. And then uh, for tangent, you um, do the same thing. We're gonna go to T and uh, here they are. Uh, hyperbolic of tangent and the uh, inverse of the hyperbolic of tangent. Okay, and that's it.